At last, there can be no doubt. Mike Jones must be a member of the mysterious and powerful gang with whom Jimmy Allen and Speed Robertson have come in contact. And under Mike Jones, obeying his sinister commands, is Shorty Mason, Jimmy's hard-boiled flying instructor. The fatal word has gone forth. Jimmy knows too much. He must be put away. Laid up in a hospital, perhaps, or, better still, killed. To Jimmy's amazement, Shorty Mason has ordered him to take off on his first solo flight. He protested. He has had no practice in making landings. But Mason hinted that Jimmy was yellow. Infuriated, Jimmy jumped into the plane, started the engine, took off. But the nervy kid doesn't know that Mason has knocked out the bolt that holds the left wheel on the axle. Speed Robertson, approaching at the moment to find Jimmy, sees his young chum take off. Enraged, knowing Jimmy is not yet ready to solo, he denounces Mason. At that instant, just as Jimmy's plane clears the runway, the left wheel drops off. Realizing Jimmy is in a desperate plight, Speed leaps into action. Quick, Flash, get another ship out. Sure, Speed. Number five's over there in front of the hangar. Keep your mouth shut, Flash. Number five isn't in flying shape. So that's it, is it, Mike? I always thought you were a dirty skunk. Now I know it. I haven't got any time to waste on you now, but I'm going to deal with you later. Hurry up there, Flash. Get that bus started. You've got me all wrong, Robertson. I'm for the kid 100%, but I don't yeah, think... Yeah, yeah, I know. You're all for him to get bumped off. Now get going there, Flash. Shake the lead out of your feet. You stay right where you are, Flash. I'm the guy that gives orders around here. All right, you rat. I'll start this ship myself. That ship stays where it is. That ship's going to fly if I have to knock every one of you into a cocked hat. And you, Mason, you're going up with me. I'm going to need some help. Oh, yeah? If you think I'm going up there with you, you're plenty crazy. I'm just about in the notion to let you have this wrench on the dome. You're going up with me if I have to throw you in that cockpit. I'm going over for the ship. You hop in the rear cockpit when I taxi it back. Shorty, maybe we'd better give him the ship. Flash, run over and help him. Okay, Mike. Listen, Shorty, this is our big chance. How so, Mike? You heard what Robertson said, didn't you? Sure, but what? He told you to get into the rear cockpit, didn't he? Yeah, but what? Just this. Robertson's planning to get into the front cockpit. Why? So he'll be in a position to climb out on that upper wing. Hmm, I begin to get it. He's figuring on changing. Right. He's not going to let young Allen land that ship on one wheel. He's going to do it himself. It's a cinch he'll get you to fly close while he changes over to Jimmy's ship. Listen, he's got it started, and he won't waste any time getting it over here. I'm way ahead of you now, Mike. Just as Robertson reaches for young Allen's plane, my ship hits an air pocket. The wing rocks down and... And that will be the end of Speed Robertson. Yeah, but suppose he wears a chute. He won't. It would interfere too much with his movements. Look, he's taxiing over. You don't see any parachute straps on his shoulders, do you? You sure you want to get rid of Robertson, Mike? He's just like Allen, Shorty. He knows too much. Now listen to me. Jimmy Allen and Speed Robertson are pushing up daisies next week. It'll mean a nice chunk of dough in your pocket. Say, I just thought of something. A minute ago, I had a scrap with Robertson. If he got killed when I was flying the plane, it might look funny to the law. How about that? I'll take care of that. Here he comes. I'll hop into that cockpit and do your stuff. All right, Mason. Are you going to get into this rear seat, or am I going to have to throw you in? Oh, you got me wrong, Robertson. Sure, I'll help you. I don't want to see anything happen to the kid. All right, jump in. And make it snappy. Jimmy's over the river now. We'll have to catch him just as he makes his last turn before landing. Okay. Now, listen. I'll take her off. While we're climbing up, I'll tell you what I want you to do. Here we go. Taking an awful chance out on that wing, Robertson. 
There isn't a thing you can brace yourself against. I'll take that chance, Mason. Yeah, but if the kid doesn't hold his ship steady, it'll be your neck. I'm not worried about Jimmy. You handle this ship and I'll be all right. Okay, but don't blame me if anything happens. If anything happens, Mason, I won't be alive to blame you or anyone else. All right, now, watch yourself. There's Jimmy up there, just ahead. I think he sees us. I'll pull up alongside him. He can't figure what this is all about. I don't think he knows he's lost the wheel. No, I'm sure he doesn't. All right, we'll try to signal him. Point at his landing gear and then make a circle out of your arms. Okay. I don't think he gets it. Here, I'll pull him closer and throttle this engine. Now, if he'll only throttle his, I can yell across. There, he's getting the idea. See? His prop's slowing up. He's looking over the side. There, he sees it. Jimmy, climb up higher. When I signal, hold her steady. I'm going to change the your plane. I get to see. Okay, 
I'll crawl into the front cockpit. Keep the plane level, Jimmy. Hold the stick over to the left to balance my weight. Okay, Steve. I've got it. There. Here I come. Oh, gee, Steve. I thought you'd never make it. I almost gave up hope myself, Jimmy. For a few seconds, it looked like I was a cooked goose. You certainly came to at the right time, Jimmy. If you hadn't dropped the wing when I yelled, I would never have been able to catch that strut. All right, here, I'll take the controls. There's still a big job ahead. I've got to bring this baby in on one wheel. Well, I'm not worried about that, Steve. I know you can do it. I don't know, kid. It's always taking a chance. Be sure your belt is buckled tight. There's no use putting it off. The runway's clear. Here we go. Speed was right. You can't land an airplane on one wheel every time and get away with it. Will Jimmy and Speed be able to walk away from this crash? Don't miss the next thrill-packed episode of The Air Adventures of Jimmy Allen. <laughs> 